Well, fake drugs are a real problem, not just fake drugs, but all the fake or the products which are said, which are, if you like, alternative medicine. So that people will say, oh, you take this, it will prevent that, you need to buy this. A lot of them is pyramid selling, a lot of them is purely trying to make money, and it's not doing any good or it can do harm to a consumer. Fake drugs are even worse, because then you think that you're taking the right thing, and whatever you're taking is not doing you any good whatsoever. So the, the government tries to control the, the drugs that come into the country, they're tested, etc. But people bring them in in their handbag, they walk out, they it's a real problem. But most proper drugs, I mean, well, not fake ones, at least the boxes they're in will have a code, etc. In Ghana, they have printed codes on packets, and you can use your mobile phone to double check that what you've bought is in actual fact not a fake drug. So it will come. There are ways of getting around and checking and making sure that what you've bought is what is good for you and is not a fake product that someone has changed for packaging to look like the real one. But it depends what's in it. I mean, if you take an antibiotic, you've got a chest infection, which can be very serious, and the drug they've given you is chalk, the problem is that you're not going to get better. So ultimately you can die because the infection is not controlled, because what you have been given is not going to treat what you've got. So they set up the factories, the chalk or something similar, talcum powder, is put into the capsule, it's sold by the side of the road, it won't do you any good. The harm may not be that the drug itself is harmful, but that it's not doing you what you need for what is wrong with you. So your blood pressure may go very high and you have a stroke because the drug that you have been taking hasn't taken your blood pressure down, but you thought you were taking something which would control your blood pressure. So there's the two aspects. It may be there's some poison in the drug, but that isn't usually the problem. The problem is that the drug has just got no efficacy whatsoever.